Welcome to this tutorial, which is going to show you how to create a piece of work in response to the artist Robert Indiana. Um, first thing you're going to do is go to New Project and check that your project is 300 by 300 millimeters, and that gives you a nice square surface to work on. Then go to View and Add Guides and check you've got it on percent, and you want 50% on the horizontal and 50% on the vertical and that gives you guides to show you the four quarters. And that's going to help you to put the lettering in. Okay, then you press on the T, which is the letter, drag open a space, and you want your size to be 600 mil to start with, which is big enough to see. And once you set it to 600, then you obviously want to write your first letter, which for me is T. Uh, and then going to go to the arrow. Oh, just check that you're on Linguistics Pro and that it, it's bold. That's as close to the font as you're going to get, I think, on Photopia. I then go on to the arrow and the plus, and I'm just resizing it to fit into the top box. Um, I'm actually taking it a little bit off the edge just to guarantee that it completely fills the space. And then going to that layer, duplicating it, and that gives me another version of the layer. And I'll go to the T, double click, and then that's gonna be an E in that space, back to the arrow, and that allows me to resize the E. Again, going a little bit over the box. So I guarantee it's filling that space. Back to the layer again. and duplicating it into the next box, back to the T, double click, and that's an S, up to the arrow again to resize. Oops, accidentally slipped the guide, so I've undone, and this time moving the letter rather than the guide. Again, making sure it completely fills the space you want the letters to be touching and in the S's case I've brought it right over so it kind of fits in with the E on the left hand side. Take your time to get this exactly right and in the position you want uh, making sure that you touch the edges and completely fill each of the boxes. Right then duplicate that layer again drag it up and this is going to be an O. The word I've chosen, in case you hadn't already realised, was toes. But any four-letter word will do. Keep it clean. And this time, if we press Shift while we're dragging it round, we get to make sure we've got a definite 45-degree angle. And again, shimming it into place, making sure all the edges touch and if they don't touch another letter that's okay so it's not never it's never going to touch the T so that's fine okay so that is all our lettering done and dusted and now we need to start adding some color and so first thing we're going to do is open a piece of Robert Indiana's work, or the piece of Robert Indiana's work, the love print, there it is, and that opens in another tab, so we can use that to help us with the colours, um, but before we do that we're going to merge all the letters together, so select them all, and then right click and merge layers, and that is going to turn all the letters into one layer. This is going to make it easier to colour them. Okay. Now we go back to the original and we go to the eyedropper and choose that red and then go back to our image, get the paintbrush, paint bucket and click and there it is. Same colour. Go back to Rob Indiana's work 
and choose the blue and then the green. So we've got both of them now. So I don't need to come back and forth. And we're gonna grab the paint bucket again, make sure we're on the blue, click the blue where we feel it should be. Obviously it's gonna be slightly different from love because um, the lettering's different, so the spaces will be different. But you can make your mind up. Obviously I'm copying the same colors as Robert Indiana. You don't need to. Could be any colors you like. And so just filling in the rest. And that is it. My finished response to Robert Indiana's love piece. And that's the end of this tutorial. Um, I hope you find it helpful.